At long last, after 15 years, we give to you the next installment in the legendary Mario Strikers franchise, Mario Strikers Battle League. You love Charged, and now you'll eventually love Battle League once we've updated it multiple times for your gaming pleasure. Play as all of the classic characters, except the one who is absent from the only franchise that truly let her shine. As you have your choice of game modes, Cup, Online, and that's it for now. Both the Cup mode and Online play will absolutely not push your skill to the test, because the goalie AI is the worst we programmed yet, and scoring goals will be a mindless affair. But don't worry, those goal celebrations definitely have charisma. Alright, how was that? No, no, you can't tell them that the game is this unfinished in the trailer, because no one's gonna buy it. You have to oversell the game now, and then we'll slowly update it over time. You think that's actually gonna work? It's worked in the past. Six months later. Alright, Strikers fans, you asked and we answered. Daisy will now be available to play in Mario Strikers Battle League, starting today. I don't get it, I thought this is what everyone wanted. Mario Strikers Battle League is finally out. Well, it's like half out, maybe, at best. This is a pretty polarizing game because the Strikers series is one of the most beloved Mario spin-offs, and in my opinion, Charge is the best Mario sports game. But Battle League has arrived in an era where Mario sports games leave a lot to be desired. From lack of content on launch to being drip-fed minor updates to an already dead player base, We've shifted our expectations from, this new game is going to feel like a completed body of work on release, to, this game will definitely be half-assed on release, and by the time it updates, we won't care in the slightest. There seems to be a lot wrong with Battle League, from lack of single-player modes, to terrible goalie AI, stages that add literally nothing to the gameplay, and staple characters being absent from the roster. Obviously, the biggest kick in the nuts here is Daisy who Strikers fans have really grown fond of thanks to her spunky personality really being emphasized and charged. It made her very fun to play as because you felt all of her emotions as you played. It was pretty awesome. With her being missing, it's like a piece of the game's soul is missing, which was a huge complaint from many. Of course, there were also defenders of this game pre-launch, who argued that the game still had all the charisma and charm of the previous entries, citing the goal celebrations as primary examples. Look, it can't be denied that these celebrations are certainly fun and add to the game, but it's the lack of everything else that makes people disappointed. No Daisy, no sidekicks, barely any gear, lack of single player options, shorter cut mode than charge, boring stages that only have cosmetic swaps. These issues far outweigh the small positive of nicely animated goal celebrations. Even some of the most hardcore defenders of this game before launch were some of the first to express their disappointment and boredom with the game. I personally didn't buy it for this exact reason, and I think that if people are getting tired of the half-finished game with updates model, then they shouldn't financially support Nintendo either. But that's a whole different topic for a different day. Now, let's look at a game who did its launch in a way that kept the player base extremely strong even to this day. Smash Ultimate. Now, obviously this game is completely jam-packed with content, plenty to do alone or with friends or online, and an insanely huge roster and stage list paired with thousands of music tracks keeps this game fresh still. Obviously, it's hard to compare any game to the level of ambition that Ultimate had, but the reason I bring this game up is because it had one singular defining moment that got every single person who had ever played any Smash game excited. Everyone is here. Right off the fucking bat, every person who ever played Smash instantly had a reason to buy Ultimate. Their main was back in a brand new game. With that being the foundation, Ultimate stayed extremely strong through its update years, and now with a completed game, we not only have all the originals, but tons of new content as well. That's how the fuck you do it. You have to give the fans reasons that they're fans in the first place. Take that away, the essence of the game, the personal things that make players fall in love with your product, and you have nothing left to show. And adding in essentials later is already too late. A competitive game is only as strong as its player base and alienating your player base from day one is a death sentence that Battle League will be experiencing. Of course, this update model wouldn't be nearly as insufferable as it is if Nintendo simply made updates in a consistent and timely manner, which they don't. Whether it's Mario Party or the Nintendo Switch Online Library, or this fucking Mario Kart DLC that got announced five months ago and has only updated once, Nintendo is notorious for being the slowest when it comes to updating popular games that people are excited to continue playing. I don't know why they do this so poorly. Again, I guess it's because people keep buying the games regardless. 
but it just sucks for the dedicated players of these series, who just want a new, modern take with all the classic elements that made them fans in the first place. Where this concept got lost on Nintendo beats me, but it's the sad reality that we now live in. So those are my thoughts on Nintendo's decision to exclude series staples on launch and how it's detrimental to the player base to add them in much later. It's a model that I think could work if executed a lot better, way more consistently, and with dedicated fans much more in mind. But overall, how Nintendo is choosing to go about it currently is only making loyal fans upset and causing- Wow, seriously? That should have been the base video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate if you left a video like or a comment describing your own thoughts on Nintendo's update model, or even subscribing for more, cause even though life is tough, I'm trying to consistently upload, so if you're struggling right now, man, just keep pushing forward no matter what. Things will get better. I promise you that. I'll see you next time.